fascinating story out of North Korea, Kim Jong-un may no longer be in charge of the country. Wait, what? Okay, this is according to a former top North Korean official. Now, before I get into some of the details, I want to stress to you all watching at home that you should probably take this story with a grain of salt. Reliable information, as you guys might know, from North Korea is pretty hard to find. So once again, take this with a grain of salt. So what's going on? What is this news coming out of North Korea? Who is this official? Well, this official is former propaganda minister Jang Jin Sung. Now he got together with a group of other North Korean exiles last month uh, and had a conference in the Netherlands to pretty much discuss the state of the regime. Now he was a keynote speaker at this conference. So basically, a group of former North Korean officials got together, they had a conference. Uh, the officials included former top diplomats, an ex-senior official of the Ministry of Security, a former high-ranking military officer, and of course, uh, Jang Jin Soon. Now, in this address that he gave, he alleged that a government department called the OGD, the Organization and Guidance Development, have pretty much stopped taking orders from Kim Jong-un. Fascinating. And in his words, quote, have effectively taken over the country. So now we have the ODG supposedly, uh, or OGD supposedly calling the shots. But it gets a little weirder. It gets a little bit more complicated than this. Since according to Jang, who talked to Vice, there's also apparently a conflict going in internally. A sort of civil war, but not really a civil war. Now what does that mean? Jane says that there are different factions that are essentially diametrically opposed to each other on the issue of economics. Now, one faction wants to keep the state as status quo, basically having a monopoly on goods and services. The state provides everything. The other faction wants to open up the markets and allow for uh, foreign trade. Basically, he says, quote, on one hand, it's, bas it's people who want to maintain regime monop monopoly. On the other hand, it's not like people are fighting against the regime, but in a policy sense, they want to take advantage to get influence. It's not actually consciously civil war, but there are these two incompatible forces at play. Fascinating. Now, if true... That would be a really amazing development when it comes to the issue of North Korea. So what about Kim Jong-un? That's a good question. Now, the rumor is, and it is just a rumor, and I want to stress that, that he might actually be missing. He hasn't been seen reportedly since July, where he was seen with a pronounced limp during a ceremony. Now, there was a Supreme People's Assembly, which is... Hilarious, because it's essentially a rubber stamp court. He says something, hey, I think we should have this law. You should wear my haircut. And they rubber stamp it into law. Now, during the last Supreme People's Assembly, Kim Jong-un show up. Reportedly wasn't there. Do you know what was there in his place? Reportedly, it was that video from July where he was limping. And what's funny, there was a narrator to that video saying, quote, despite some discomfort, Har Marshall continues to lead the people. Right. Okay. So this, of course, leads to naturally leads to more rumors, with South Korean publications filling in the blanks and speculating on what the hell is going on. Some speculate that he had surgery. Others speculate he had, that he has lots of health problems like gout, Obesity, high blood pressure, etc., etc., etc. So, Un is rumored to be missing, and people are speculating about his health. And they're also speculating about a coup. And of course, the U.S. State Department says, no, we don't have any information to substantiate that, which is understandable because you really can't get reliable information out of North Korea. State Department spokesman Jen Psaki uh, says, quote, I can just say that I have no confirmation of the reports. 
We've seen them, but we don't have any confirmation. Like I said, this is all rumor and it's all speculation. But what else is rumor and speculation? Well, do you remember the reports of Kim Jong-un's uncle being fed to dogs? Well, that was proven to also have been a viral rumor going around Facebook and other social media. There was also the recorded story of Kim Jong-un's girlfriend, supposed girlfriend, being executed for pornography. And then, of course, a video uh, surfaces later of her being very much alive. So you just don't know when it comes to North Korea. But anyway, according to uh, Jang Jin Sung, the uncle, whose name was Jang Sung Taek, uh, his execution was apparently a catalyst in the supposed coup, which Jang actually said had happened in 2013. Weird. Now, how is that a coup? Well, according to Jin Sung, quote, when Jang Sung Taek was executed, that was basically, that totally broke everything. You just can't touch a Kim family member publicly. It's the OGD's claim to legitimacy. It's them saying no one is more legitimate to, than them. By Jang dying, Kim Jong-un is now surrounded by the OGD. Now that's not the only fascinating development supposedly going on. According to Jang, the government is losing control of the economy and the food supply. Technically, you know, if you want to uh, control a population, you control the economy and the food. Well, they're apparently losing control of that if we're to believe Jang. Now, there are also reports of illegal, technically illegal, but very much tolerated private markets starting to flourish in North Korea. Now, where do we get this information? Well, this information comes from Matthew Reichel. He's founder of the Pyongyang Project. He's essentially, this group organizes study tours of North Korea for people who are not of North Korean origin. So people can go and take these tours. Now, he said that he recently returned from a month-long trip from Pyongyang, Shangjin, Hamhung, interesting name, and other places, and he had seen these markets for himself. You know what he says about these? Quote, they're thriving. So, with all the information presented as of right now, it seems that Un is outmanned politically, and the free market is starting to make inroads into the country. Not only that, but Un also seems to be missing. So there's a lot supposedly going on in this country. Now, let's go a little bit uh, back to Jang. Now, he says he thinks that it's possible that Un could be replaced by one of his elder brothers, which would essentially keep the status quo and fill any sort of power vacuum if Un was actually missing. Now, he also concedes that Un's withdrawal from the public sphere could also be a scripted plot by the propaganda ministry for some reason. I'm not sure what that reason could be. It could very well be to mystify Kim Jong-un's image and reinforce the things that they say about him. That is a, a plausible theory. We just don't know. But the thing that could bring down the regime is, and in this report, is the elites. Or I should say the children of the elites in North Korea. Now, if they're anything like our elites, they want things. They want money. They want power. They want to make money. It only makes sense that these younger children of the elites will want more access to goods and services that are not government provided. So once again, we go to Jang who argues the divisions between the adult children of North Korea's elites and the conservative old guard pose the most serious threat to the regime's long-term stability. Quote, all the OGD kids, basically anyone who has trade or business rights, 
They're all sons and daughters of the powerful elite. Because of that situation, because of economic trade, there's no order you can enforce. Business by nature is competitive. Within that, there will be policy disagreements, there will be trade feuds, and bickering. That's why it's not going to stay this unified system. Now, there's one more thing about uh, that Jang says, and this is about Kim Jong-un. Now, he said that here, we in the West tend to focus too much on the figurehead that is Kim Jong-un. And instead, we need to pay attention to the real power brokers behind the scenes. Quote, basically, the outside world has been brainwashed by Kim Jong-il's dictatorship. They're all thinking along the lines of what they're given by the propaganda, but that's not what's really going on. Now, if all of this is true, and once again, we don't really have any proof, but if it's true, or at least even some of it is true, with the private markets coming to North Korea, there could be some changes on the horizon for that country. 